What's up, everybody? It's your boy Therese Balboa. And it's your girl, Lou Sandara. Make sure to write that on your pen and paper. And you are tuned in to Two Villains, One Show podcast. Fuck with a real bitch, sit back with a fake bitch. <laughs> yeah. Sister. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, guys. We are drained. Like, we're drained. Very much um, so. I guess we can start with mental health because you always gotta mentally yes. check in. So, mentally, this one was. How are we feeling? <laughs> I am drained at life. I'm tired of trying. I got a new job and now I have to look for another new job because this new job is playing in my face, you guys. I literally am a hardworking American citizen and literally like I showed up the first day, the lady's not letting me in, I've reached out to HR, I've reached out to multiple people, and nobody's trying to assist me. And I just feel annoyed because the way I had to chase the recruiter and the runaround, and just, I'm drained. I'm drained. I work, I work very hard, very hard. And at this point, I'm, I don't have any makeup on. Literally, all I have is my eyebrows. I have on my I don't want to wear makeup wig. Like, I'm tired. I've been working my ass off. And people don't know how hard I work. I'm tired. I'm tired of being tired. I'm tired of working. I'm tired. It's been a lot. It's not easy. Okay. And I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Well, mentally, I'm okay. Um, there's nothing new with me mentally. Like, I'm tired. I'm so tired. I'm like, I'm so tired. Okay, so what's your solution? <sighs> I'm gonna jump off the bridge. Okay. Well, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> the topics, we're not about to do the topics. <laughs> okay, so, topics. Yes. Um, we just got done watching the Baddies Audition. It was terrible. It's so bad. Terrible. It's, it's been bad. I was this really tired before I got here, but I was definitely tired after that. <laughs> it's like it's crazy because I feel like it was bad the first two episodes, but this one was just like a really a way. It makes you bad. question why these demonic ritual parties continue to happen. Like, what is this at this point? Mm -hmm. Show your tits. Do show push your push Do push-ups. It's like this big humiliation mm -hmm. ritual. I'm going to say this, and then we can, to, we can go to the next topic, because honestly, it's a waste of time. Mm -hmm. The only issue I have with the auditions is the fact that they are probably the only reality show that's actually scouting out new talent, and they're not even using it, which is mind-blowing mind -blowing to me. Right. But speaking of Zeus, um, Jonathan went to social media oh, yes, to go and help. Oh, Lord. About him not getting his show. He was ready to call Lemmy to the carpet because Girl, he has Lemmy, not gotten his Chef show. D, Natalie. I'm glad he called Rashad. Chef D out because I'm just like, thank you for admitting you do not like Chef D. Because so, we know you really didn't. You know, um, he made valid points. I feel like he made valid points. Like, you know, I've been turning y'all show up, I've been showing up, you know, showing out, and y'all are letting all these other people get a show and they haven't even done, like, they haven't even been waiting around where I've been waiting around. And, I mean, again, bad boys could not exist outside of Jonathan, mm -hmm. per se. But... I'm gonna say this. I feel like Jonathan was the breakout star when it comes to bad boys. Like, he right. was like the head of Honcho. Um, but you have to think about it. Look how long Rowley took to get her show. She talked about her show on Baddie South Reunion. She didn't get her show until... What, right before Baddest Caribbean? Exactly. Like, I don't know. Like, what do you have going on outside of conflict? And that's the million dollar question. But in Jonathan's defense, though, there's like this uh, pitch reel or pitch video mm -hmm. that he put together of like a hair competition show. Mm -hmm. You saw it? I did. With some fighting. I feel like that's actually an inter I would watch that. Where they do hair and they fight because they're actually doing something, but they're fighting. Okay. You, see, you know, like you get that Zeus drama, but you also get a goal, some structure. 
Yeah, I can see potential in it for sure. So if he came to Zeus with that picture, which, which I'm assuming he did, because you can tell it's already been filmed, da, 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 mm -hmm. and they didn't give him a show, but then they give Rhodey a show so we can watch her get cut up like a rotisserie chicken, I can see why he would be mad. Because I'm giving y'all a good pitch. <laughs> okay. I, I, I don't think I'll watch the show. You think you can watch it? But it's it's a better concept. Y'all just trying to fuck my man. I, you know, I'm gonna say this, and this is so off topic, but there's a reason why I don't date really attractive people. Okay. I like my man being ugly, and it's for reasons because when I did, I guess higher my standards mm -hmm. and date this boy that was beautiful and had a lot of Instagram followers. Not only was he boring as fuck, but he was a fucking whore. Jumped in and Bobby Lights actually fuck him. That is not surprising. He showed me the DM. Mm. Yeah. So, ooh, quick question though. Yeah. So when so Jonathan, was he on the was he on the top? On the okay, so we're gonna <laughs> you know uh, uh, hey! so we can talk about actual celebrities. Um <laughs> Cardi B and Offset oh, basically yes. have broke the fucking internet. Because some some way somehow it got she out that she has the rollout for her next album. Yes. Is it now? Let me tell you something. I'm gonna say this, okay. Cardi. If you go back to Offset this time, you really look dumb. No, she's been looking dumb. She's been looking time. dumb. Yeah. But this time, you really look dumb. But I don't really want to focus on Cardi B dumbness. I really want to focus on how disgusting men are because I find it very crazy Hello? how y'all. There's so many times that Offset have cheated on Cardi B. And I've never seen men speak on it, but the second Cardi B slept with another man while she was pregnant, all of a sudden men have so much of They, they want to have an uproar child. Okay. It really, because it really shows me that y'all are disgusting people because y'all will sit there and y'all like, y'all can do whatever y'all want to do to someone. Okay. And the second someone does something to y'all, all of a sudden y'all have morals. I, have, I know men that have had babies on bitches, done beat up bitches, done fuck bitches mom, done fuck bitches friends, done, done took advantage of a bitch. Mentally done fucking ruined her, wrecked her car. Y'all have done the most vital shit to women. And if you haven't done your fucking homeboy did it and you didn't say nothing. But God forbid a woman gives 1% of that energy back. You know what it is? Y'all masculinity is so motherfucking fragile. The second someone challenges it just a little bit, y'all break. Y'all really mentally can't handle it. At the end of the day, if Cardi wants to fuck someone else while she was pregnant, that's fine. Because I'm pretty sure your homeboy was cheating on his baby mom while she was fucking pregnant. So shut the fuck up. I think the only cringy part about it is the fact that she slept with somebody while she was pregnant. Just because like there's a baby inside of you, so like, you know, if he climax inside of you, like the baby, sperm. Well, it depends on how far along the baby was for one. And then for two, I know so many men that be cheating on their baby while she's pregnant and not be giving a fuck. Yeah. It's just, and like, if a woman has to not have sex because she's pregnant, I feel like, and it's like, oh, well, it's not a baby, but still, exactly. it's not, y'all talk about morals, it's morals. Morals only apply to women. But, and then, and then, and for the bitches that say something, girl, shut the fuck up. The, the same bitches that defended Offset are the same bitches that their boyfriend be having a three-month-year-old baby. Let's start. And we're going to leave it at that. <laughs> so, uh, speaking of terrible men, <laughs> speaking of terrible men, Boosie went on, I don't know if he was on Carisha Please or what, we had an interview with Carisha and he said, mm -hmm that he keeps his daughter away from his other kids okay. because he doesn't want her to contaminate yeah, the other Yeah, he doesn't want him to contaminate. She then yeah. went on social media crying out. Yeah. I didn't watch the whole video because I thought it was pathetic. But she basically, I'm not gonna get on hand around, I'm not gonna disrespect my dad because he looks up for all his kids, but mentally you're not there, mentally you're not there. This is my situation. And when I say this, I understand that Boosie is not gonna be canceled, and I'm gonna tell you why. Boosie's not gonna get canceled because he has a very particular audience that's always gonna allow his bullshit. Very much Y'all, are fucking delusional because the fact that you're gonna sit here and open your motherfucking mouth mm -hmm. and say you don't want your daughter to contaminate your other kids for one it shows that you didn't know how sexuality works. Exactly. That's let's let's start there. That's for one. And then for two, it shows that you're full of shit because meanwhile you're saying you don't want your daughter to contaminate your other kids. You had a grown woman fuck your son. So you were Was okay. that contaminating your child? Was that contaminating your son? And the thing about it is, did his daughter grow up watching lesbian movies and lesbians around? No. But she still became 
a lesbian because she was born that way. She probably so, became a lesbian because she saw how y'all was doing women the whole time. Hello. Beating bitches, tricking bitches, talking about women like they were nothing, and just living that lifestyle. She didn't want to be a part of that shit. Or maybe because you want to be so tough and so fucking hard because you look at what your ass played with. That, 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 I don't, honestly, when it comes to Lucy, I just want him to stop speaking on gay shit. Like, why do you, and he's like, if I don't like something, I don't speak on it. But you don't spoke on it like a hundred times. Speak on politics. Speak on gun control. Speak on building for your, speak on black men's mental health, bitch. That's what you need to do. You need to focus on your own household and the thing that you have going on. Because this is my thing, a viral clip just went viral of, him and T.I. stopping their sons from recording a music video yeah, that they have done. That, that, That's what you need to focus on, bitch. The fact that your the yeah. fact that your son has a certain lifestyle, he still wants to be a gutter black. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I said. Fix that. Worry about home. But like you know, literally. But you know that was a that was a scripted skit that him and T.I. put together. Oh, let, really? let, let's just let's just um. Let's interrupt our son's video shoot and act like we give a damn about them using guns. No, y'all. We're really dumb because you're a gutter butt, ghetto ass bitch, you know, and that's why nobody bought that album. See, did you, that's the issue. Because if you that, focus on your artistry, hello, then you will have no just, issue. I was just about to say that you need to figure out why Cardi B had to send out a mass tweet for people to even know that you had an album out. Cardi literally tweeted, "Can y'all please buy Boosie's album?" And it still didn't get bought. And it still did not get bought. And speaking of terrible men, you have Scrappy. <laughs> I don't know what Scrappy obsession is with Kirk and Rashida's marriage, but I that really want like his role models. I, I really know. want Scrappy to. Well, yeah, this is role model because his mom yeah. was a fucking pimp. So right, clearly, exactly. clearly, and look at his he was, he was sleeping right next to prostitutes. Right. See, the thing is about the black community, y'all have so, y'all have fucked up y'all child so much Hello. that y'all grew up to these dumbass adults. And instead of growing up and realizing that you have to change your method and change your mindset, y'all would just continue to live in bigotry. Like, y'all are so fucking stupid. They're so comfortable in their ignorance. And it's ignorance is ridiculous. Because yeah. the fact that you're saying that uh, Rashida and Kirk relationship is success because they have a fucking restaurant that serves cold food is crazy to me. That's not a success. Them cheating on each other is not a success. Them having babies on each other is not a success. Them her her no, being no, no, fucked no, no, with bears no, no, is not success. No, 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 wait, hold on, baby. No, 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 baby. You said cheating on each other. No, no. Kirk cheating on Rashida. Rashida Apparently she cheated, cheated too. Well, you didn't know that because you didn't watch the show because no one watches it. Let's start right there. Exactly. And if she did cheat, she didn't cheat good enough. She damn sure didn't cheat good enough. But see, that's the thing about it, though. He, I, I feel like she cheated on him, and he didn't want to leave because he knew that was his meal ticket. But he's just gonna show her, okay, bitch, you want to cheat on me? I'm gonna cheat on you forever. Because that's the type of thing that men do. Because right. Because also said, also said, you my baby mom, I won. That is disgusting. Because the way men, that's what, that is they, disgusting. They but that was his that plan. That is disgusting. But that was his plan from the jump. Because if we really want to wake it up, Cardi B was always a PR move for him. Because if we because 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 when he was the Migos, it was Quavo and the others. Exactly. Before he got with Cardi, we was all talking about Quavo. It was Quavo saying she was the Beyonce. She was the Beyonce. When he started dating Cardi, that's number two. Was like, oh, 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 Offset. Oh yeah. I'm, oh, what about this Offset character? It just shows you how terrible men are. Like it honestly does. But you know what? I can't sit here and bash black men. And not give a little sprinkle to black women. I know what you're gonna say, gay people hate hey, black women, but I don't. Right. Jimmy Jackson, dumbass. This is my problem. My issue when it comes to politics, I understand if you're not big on politics, so you don't speak on it. That's cool. My issue is when y'all do speak on it, y'all only speak on it when y'all are negative towards Kamala, and that's what bothers me. Because it's like you don't speak on politics, and the second that you do, you're speaking negative on Kamala. But you, but Trump has done so much vital shit, and you have never made a tweet, a comment, a post. But you want to say, well, is Kamala even black? Meanwhile, half, you and half of your brothers and sisters all got white baby daddies and baby mamas. Bitch, like D. Hudley said, how are you going to talk shit about a black woman with a white knuckles? Bitch, you're dumb. Clock it. Anyway. I will say that you do have valid points. I think the only reason why Kamala's race keeps coming up as a question is just because, you know, it does come off as if she's kind of pandering her blackness 
for, you know, the black boat, you know, the hot sauce, the crib walking, the, the Quavo thing. It's just kind of like, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to always push the fact that you make collard greens for Thanksgiving. Just talk about your policies. I'm gonna say this. Cause we don't vote for you, bro. I'm gonna say that's not true, though. I'm gonna say this because if she didn't, because because she has a white husband, if she didn't do half the stuff she did when it comes to the black community, y'all would say she's a white man's whore, and y'all would say she doesn't even like the black. She's one of those black, and we and you know what type of black people I'm talking about. There's a particular type of black people that hate that they're black and want to be white and only focus on white people shit. Mm -hmm. And if she didn't remind y'all. Our show, y'all, we will assume that that's the type of bitch she is. But it just kind of comes off like the only the only way she can relate to black people is when she brings up something stereotypical, like. But y'all didn't say that. Y'all didn't say that last year when she was going for vice president. It's only a topic now. Last year was because she's a woman. Now it's because she may or may not be black. No, I, I feel like people should still vote for Kamala, but I feel like people's gonna vote for Kamala regardless. Cause it's well, obviously happen. not because Janet Jackson dumbass is going on the internet. Qu this is my thing. Why, 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 the, why the fuck does the vote matter if she's black or not? But I feel like I Trump feel like is going against her. Why the fuck does it matter if she's black, white, purple, or motherfucking brown? You dumbass bitch. Trump I, is the other option. I feel like people questioning Kamala doesn't mean they're not going to vote for Kamala. It is though, because you're speaking no, negative. You're speaking negative. Is she even black? The only, I don't have a problem with people questioning Kamala, just because I don't know how, because to me that doesn't mean like, oh, you're automatically going to vote for Trump. I just feel like you have questions. Because if Kamala does become president, we have questions. She's a vice president right now. What's the government? And we Why didn't question it then? We did have questions for her. And she made it, she's vice president. Where was she during her vice presidency? Okay. I'm just Wait. saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, let's wake this up. This is what really annoys me about y'all. No, 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 let's stop. Y'all don't even give a fuck about the president until the until it comes a trend on social media. Let's start there, okay? So don't sit here and say, I don't remember seeing Biden and Kamala doing anything. Would you actually pay attention to politics? Would you actually pay attention to the government? Would you actually pay attention to laws? Were you at these conferences when they were voting? Did you vote for your governor? Did you vote for your mayor? Did you vote Did you vote for anything? Were you involved in that at all? Or did you not even pay attention to become a trend on social media when the election is coming up? So don't sit here and say, what was Kamala doing when you wasn't paying attention at all? I think another thing is, not only that, another thing is because Trump is such a dumb fuck, Trump is the first motherfucking president that made social media, being a president of social media a thing. And I think we got so used to that that we feel like these politicians should be on social media so fucking much because Trump is a celebrity, not a fucking politician. And that's why he was so social media heavy. And because, Bi first of all, Biden's fucking 100 years old. So I'm sorry, he, he wasn't on Twitter and Instagram. I do apologize. But because Trump was on social media so fucking much, so the fact that the lead is like, count. Y'all, that's what y'all are used to now. Brainwashed. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Brainwashed? I'm sorry. No, but I you know what? what and, I, and, and, this is a, and, and this is and this is and this is another thing. I just feel like this election is so important because again, Marcellus Williams, is that how you pronounce his name? Yes. I want to make sure. Rest in peace. This man got over 200 people showed up to that courthouse that day. With signatures, and he still got murdered well, for a case with no evidence did by a white man. Did Kamala speak on that? I think she. I don't know if she spoke on that. I'm not sure because it happened so quick. It was. It went viral the yeah. day he was put against in it. Oh yeah. Like his son made a video the day before. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then boom, it happened. It wasn't enough time. Yeah. But like, I just feel like stuff like this is why I just feel like y'all have to really understand, like. I'm sorry, it, it, and this might fuck me up in the future because this is going to be on the internet forever, but white people hate us. Y'all don't understand that. They fucking hate us. So I'm not saying that Kamala's going to get an office and change everything, but I feel like when you have someone like Trump, they feel so comfortable with the power that that man has. I'm telling you, if he becomes president again, it is going to be hell. It is going to be chaos. Those Trump supporters are going to feel like they are fucking untouchable. The second he comes president, it's gonna be chaos. I'm telling you, it's gonna be chaos. Point blank, period. 
register to vote, vote for Kamala, vote for Where should the fucking vote, you dumbass bitch? And if you're one of those dumbasses that say, post, it doesn't really affect my life. It does. It and does. even if it doesn't affect your life, you should be, you should have common sense to, enough to know that just because something doesn't affect you, doesn't mean it doesn't matter. Because this inflation is a result of Trump's tax plan. Because we're on his tax plan right now, you dumb fucks. Vote blue if you want your freedoms to come oh, through. Anyway, something a little more positive. Yeah. It was so Um, Victoria, well not really positive, Victoria. Monet and her husband, husband or boyfriend yes. or baby, or whatever. They announced that they broke up. They said they've been broken up for some time now. Yes. Um, and I think this is another reason why we should just really mind our fucking business sometimes. Like why do you say that? Because it's just like the fact that I feel like y'all be wanting mess. Y'all are so used to toxicness mm -hmm. that when someone breaks up peacefully, it's like, oh, who? Somebody has to be a woman that has some, to be a No, be honestly, a some people actually have a brain. And, and they're like, mature and enough. And they're mature enough to just understand they're not supposed to be together. People because are you're, so no, right. What it is, because your man has beat on you, cheat on you, whooped your ass, mm -hmm. to ruin your credit, and said, fuck your family, and publicly embarrassed you 10 times, and you couldn't leave. You assume because she finally left that something like that had to happen. When all in reality, some people are too mature enough to break up. They're so used to relationships like Cardi and Offset that they are so, it is, it is unbelievable that it cannot be true and it has to be proven wrong mm -hmm. when two people are emotionally mature enough to say, you know what? We're not. This actually is not working. Let's just switch. And it's okay because I actually went through a relationship like that. We were mm -hmm. together for three years and we just mutually, we had arguments and situations. But when it came to the breakup, it was very peaceful. Like, mm -hmm. we just literally had a conversation. No one yelled, no one we screamed, cursed. And we just agreed that we were going to separate. Now, what that bitch did after was a whole nother whatever. But that was months and months in. But the breakup was mutual. Like, we were fine. We were still communicating for like a good month or two after the breakup. It was fine. It's possible for that to happen. It's just y'all are messy. Y'all love mess. Right. <laughs> they, don't know, they don't know what a healthy relationship is. Speaking of healthy relationships, mm -hmm. um, Chloe basically put online that the reason why her career is flat right now because her label won't give her the budget to do nothing. Yeah, and I wonder why the label is not getting. Mm -hmm. I would say this: if somebody tweeted, they said this girl had two albums and went on two tours. The budget was there. If the people ain't buying it, the label not for to keep selling it. I think they introduced Chloe all wrong. And once you introduce a new artist the wrong way, bitch, it's a wrap. Like, I mean, there are artists like um, Tanache who was able to do that whole resurgence thing. And I'm pretty sure... That took years. And that also took years. And, I'm, and I feel like Chloe could definitely do the whole Tanache resurgence because Chloe's not um, an unlikable character. Mm -hmm. It's just her debut. Her debut, it did not feel natural. It felt forced. And then it was too reminiscent of Beyonce. So when you have something that already does not feel like you, and then it and then you also just aesthetically remind people of your protege, it just mm -hmm. it worked against her. Um, because the sex kitten thing, because I haven't listened to the second album, but I did see a snippet of it was her. Terrible. I saw a snippet of her performing one of the songs like on live or something. She was like outside in front of a tiki hut or something. And I like I like how the song sounded. And it's kind of like a neo soul. That's where Chloe needs to be. I'm gonna say two things. One, I don't 100% believe y'all because Holly, Haley, her sister, her two songs that she released with the same sound, the same aesthetic. Not as Chloe, but as their original music, and y'all paid her best. For two, I also feel like Chloe is making excuses just a little bit because there are a lot of unsigned, unsigned artists that put out way more content. But I will say, Chloe is active on social media. She does the lives, she does the TikToks, she does the covers, she does the challenges. Like everything that we said Normani should have been doing. And on, Chloe yeah, does, yeah. does do that. So before I can even say, because I was going to bring up the social media thing too, like, well, maybe your career is flopping because, no, she is active on social media. Chloe needs a scandal. Sarah, Chloe, you're boring. 
I think the only thing that's gonna flip things up in her favor is a scandal. Because, I mean, it's not that she's not talented. Like, she is the she's full talented. package. It, 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 she's is. the full package. There's nothing, she, she doesn't need to work on her stage presence. She doesn't need to work on her dance. Everything is there. She's pretty, she's not like light skinned. Everything is there. And she just needs a scandal. She needs a scandal and then she needs to give us a sound that's a little more I'm gonna listen to the second album because that one little snippet I heard, mm -hmm. I think she needs to go into that type of lane like that. Okay. Just mm, cause we'll see. yeah. That's the last one. Next topic. Uh, Alright, so I wanna talk about Yes. Do you know who Yes is? The Empire Boy? Mm-hmm. Oh, rep I, oh girl almost said rest his soul. He is he is dead He's on the dead. inside. Just say shit that you shouldn't. <laughs> sometimes, Lou, sometimes you just say shit that you just should not say, girl. Cause one thing about me, it's gonna one thing. Girl, I, I didn't even know that was gonna come out of my mouth. Girl, okay. sometimes you just should not. Say. It's like okay, my so, brain don't give me a warning. So <laughs> Yaz has been like doing like his Twitter OnlyFans thing for a little minute. Um, I just see him from time to time. But as of recently, people have been really questioning because he's starting to do like gay content. And it's not because he's doing gay content, it's because he just seems very out of it when he's doing it. Um, what I think it is, is that I feel like Yaz um, is not getting booked to do nothing. So, and those Empire checks probably ain't, you know, they, they, have dried they probably have dried out or not doing what they need to do. Um, and he found that OnlyFans was replacing that money. Um, and I've watched a video when a guy said that if you want to do OnlyFans and you want to do it full time, you have to understand that you're going to get into a certain lifestyle and you're going to do things that you don't want to do. And I think that Yaz is just at that point where it's like, okay, I know gay men are going to be like my biggest money maker and they want to see gay content, but I can't really do it. So I will have to get high to do it. So I think he's getting high and that's why he looks out of it because truly he's high as fuck while doing it. And girl, he must be doing those hard drugs, like those gay drugs. Mm -hmm. um, what are the homosexuals like? They call it party. Tina. Yeah, Tina, Tina. Party with a capital T. Oh, yes. Yes, girl. Wait, quick question. Did you put Skater Boy on here? Was that you? Or was that a mistype for me? It probably was a mistype because I don't remember anything. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, know. Yeah. I don't know what that is. But, um, yeah, uh, Yaz looks, girl, he looks a little. Well, I hope the only fan. Are the OnlyFans checks doing something though? Because he has had not went to a barber shop in a while. Like he looks, cause I went to the Twitter, cause I wanted to see what everybody yeah. was talking about. Girl, it's cringy. I don't watch it. It's not interesting to me at all. I was like, it's very oh. like okay, girl. You could, and he, you could, I feel like there's so many celebrities who can like transfer to OnlyFans. You can package it in the right way. All I know is he looked very scruffy. He did. Okay. Well, we're praying for him. Okay. Hopefully Taraji or Terrence Howard reaches out. Quickly. Or maybe um, his brother Jamal can reach out. <laughs> that, I don't know what happened to that empire curse. That, that empire curse is crazy. The, the, the only oh. bitches who survived was Taraji and Terrence, but that's because they already had a Terrence didn't survive. He's still an empire. Oh, he is? They're going through a court case oh, because he, he wasn't making no money. And he has been walking around in that Donna Summers wig ever since. And she has not had a booking since either. Who, Taraji? 